Hello everybody, it's Android Gamer, and today I'm playing This War of Mine, a uh, sort of apocalyptic uh, playthrough survival game, like um, Fallout Shelter. Um, it's a little bit on the expensive side, thankfully I had a, it came on sale, but regularly it is either $19, sorry, $18 on Google Play or $21 on Amazon, or on the Apple iStore. At least that's in Canadian. And then on top of that, there's also a C DLC, which is another $280. So it's a little bit on the pricey side, which makes me hum and haw on this, where there's other games, like I said, Fallout Shelter, where it does pretty much the same thing. And it's completely free, other than maybe some in-game buy-ins, but other than that. Um, so let's get in and have a look at this. <clears throat> so I've already done like the first six days into this, so... I've come in. So yes, every once in a while, you may or may not get raided. And honestly, you try to fend them off with the weapons you have. And let's say Bruno's gotten injured. Well, Catcher is out. So during the day, you cannot leave your house at all because of the fact there's a war going on and the snipers that will shoot pretty much anyone or anything that moves. Where are you going? That's right there. So I'll go through open up these so each character so the only part that's really expandable is the fact that each time you start you can choose different characters you want to play as or they have in your survivors survivor people there's 12 in total each one has different skills and different abilities so this guy Bruno is a good cook uh Carvel is a good runner, and Ketra is good at doing bargaining. So I'm going to have Bruno make up some food for people. I'm going to have Carvel make... So, it's, so there's different things you can build. There's a workshop that will that you get pretty much at the start. We can create different things for the home, and different workstations, and different things that you can consume and burn. So, oh, I do not have enough to do the filter, but I have four already. That's good. Oh, I don't have water. <coughs> I don't have a water purifier. Okay, so I have one now, so let's make two more. And then I'll make some food. Make. So the most part of the day is to make sure everyone survives and give them hunger or give them food and make them rest and also try to build up your shelter so it protects you against attackers and just improve the overall living as much as you can so right now he is doing that <clears throat> And every once in a while, there might be someone that will drop by to say hi. Uh, usually a trader comes every second or third day. 
and then at the same time there's always going to be somebody that will come by to talk to you to either trade stuff with you or to ask for help <clears throat> So I'll leave that for her when she wakes up. And for the most part, it's right now just a waiting game till she wakes up because she was tired from going out in the night before. Okay, so Ketra is now woken up and I've now put Pavel to sleep because I usually have him guard most of the nights. And right now I'm going to speed up to the end of the day so I can show what happens at the night time. So it's night, so this is the, the layout. So you have different places you can visit. Some of them have different things. Some have some dangers where you have to be worried about. Like, this, obviously the sniper junction, you have to be careful you're not getting shot by snipers. And various other places. So I'm actually going to go back to back to the abandoned cottage and pick up more things. Have him in bed, have him guard, and have her scavenge. And so as as I leave, because there's also some places you can go to where you can do trade. You can say what you want to carry with you when you go out. Uh, but being I know that the cottage is has no real dangers or concerns, I'm just going to go out without anything so I can pick up as much as I can. So, like, the game itself is good and very addictive. I've played it quite a bit before doing this stream just to see, or this playthrough just to see what it's like. And it is fun but at the same time does it warrant the price tag that it is because this game actually came out officially in 2015 so it's almost five years old and i don't think the price has ever gone down lower than that in those five years so it's like is it still viable to play it when there's other games that are free that you do the exact same thing on. Okay, so she's pretty much full here now. So I'm still gonna go around and pick up some things and maybe switch out what I want to take back because <coughs> excuse me. I'm definitely gonna take back that. You can see the top that you have a time limit you have to be out so if you're out before daylight comes up you're usually in trouble and it's fairly dangerous during the day because again i said there's snipers that are in the rooftops that are wanting to kill you or will shoot anything that moves so Okay, let me see, I think I can yeah, do that. And pick up you, pick up you. So this is, so you can stack multiple items together sometimes you missing sometimes it's some of them you stack more than other ones but for the most part that's about it uh, I think I'm gonna put back the sh this stack of sugar and I'm gonna go grab that medicine Take that. Okay. And I'm going to run to end the, the evening. Mm 
<clears throat> Farthest I've gotten so far in one of my playthroughs is like 25, maybe nearly 30 days. And one of them I even had where I could actually escape if I had enough of a certain material to pay my my passage off. Unfortunately, I never got to that point of actually doing that. Okay. So she's going to go sleep. He's going to make everyone food. Oh, so every once in a while they'll have... They'll, add to the story uh, these people who've been left behind or have been stuck in the war <laughs> he's making food I should have gotten my mouth that can make a water <clears throat> purifier no Almost. Okay. So I just have to go up one more time. And then I'll have that. And then I'll have to collect more for creating moonshine. And make more fruit. Make more fruit fuel first. So as well you can also see so right now this is all the things that my survivors have. Equipment would be saw, cobra, lockpicks, shovel, and different odds and ends to create different things. I have 30 sugar right now so I don't think I need any more of that. back. I'll probably use some of it to sell to buy other things. Right, you can make that. But only one, probably only one. Because I'm very low on water. Lucky it's not cold. <clears throat> okay, so I think I'm going to speed up this day one last time to go out one more night and then I'll call it the end of this video. <clears throat> so much food there. Because supposedly there's a lot of food there somewhere. So I'm going to have her go again. Deaf and guard, have him sleep. Um, I'm going to take this. Because as you saw there, I was here before. And there's this area where I need the saw to cut down a certain section. I think I'm going to take the shovel too, just in case. Okay, and let's go. <clears throat> I think if I'm correct, it's this room down here that I have to do. To 
in some places, this one in particular, there's people sleeping in this place. Oh, hello. No, that's about it. So is this spot in here. I saw required a saw. Unfortunately, as soon as I'm done with this, the saw unfortunately becomes useless and breaks. Oh. Well, that's why. And there's a the fruit. That I am unfortunately going to steal. So that is some things that some places it is private property and so you can either be nice and not do it, or go and take their stuff and be survival of the fittest. Unfortunately, by the time you get to the later days, it's pretty much that way you have to do it anyways, because if you don't, you don't get enough food and everyone will starve and die. I don't know if it's the same as... Oh, no, fall shelter. Um, okay, now... The name of the game was one where you're a family of four and you have to survive after nu nuclear holocaust. And it's funny because I played the game before and then, oh, 20 seconds or 21 seconds. That was it. And you had that much time to get into the fall shelter before the blast occurs. And so I'm not sure if you can possibly last a bit longer without eating food or not, but I haven't really risked it in the games that I've played so far. But for the most part, ooh, that is a lot of supplies. If I have to come back here later. Missed the dishes we ate before the war. Yeah, but everyone has. Okay. There's not much else. Go through there. And there's a whole bunch of other rooms that we can go to. But for now... Oh, I guess there's still more things I can pick up. Well, I guess I should do some more exploring. There's no hope. It does feel like that sometimes. I know. I, mean, I get the point of the game where the creator or the developers want you to feel for people and know sometimes that war does happen and there's a lot of places where there's still war going on and it affects everyone in different ways. And in the end, ah. Uh, I mean, oh no, I remember the shovel. I was the smarts. But yeah, so there's always two sides to war and sometimes people have to scrape and scavenge and do the best to try to survive. Um, Thankfully, it's not something that I've had yet to experience, but at the same time, if this is all the game is, then why does the price tag have to be so high? <clears throat> no harp on it a lot, but just, I don't get it. Maybe someone wants a message or 
who's ever played it maybe before wants to message in the comments as to why your thoughts are as to why it's so high, then you can certainly do that. It's almost sent up. Pull off these boards here. And then I'm going to run to get out. Because I do not want to be out when daylight happens. Or else all the stuff that I have in my backpack will not be available to other survivors for the rest of the day. Yeah, so that is this war of mine. Uh, if you want to play it for yourself, as I said, it's about either 18 or $20, depending on the platform you're on. That's Canadian, not American. Uh, um, but if you want to play it, I'll leave a link for it in the description below and try it for yourself. Like you said, is that is it because, yeah, it's because you took stuff, but everyone else is like, we're very thankful you did it, even if you're sad. But anyways, this is the Android Gamer, Layer Days, and happy gaming!